Now that we've created some work in CloudRF, we want to download it and export it out of the system so we can take it away and use it either offline or in conjunction with another system such as QGIS. Your data can be exported in a variety of formats and there's different ways to get at it. The quickest way after creating a layer is the quick download box in the bottom left here. With this box, you can select the format, KMZ is the default, and hit the download button and fetch the file. Same goes for KML. KMZ plus a path profile tool for Google Earth. Shapefile, which takes longer because it is a raster to vector conversion. TIFF, a URL, which is great if you want to share that layer with somebody else who does not have CloudRF. And finally, HTML. You can get a piece of code, an iframe, and embed that onto your blog. Show people your repeater's coverage, for example. Now that's for the most recent layer, but if you want to go back in time and dig into the archive, open up the archive with the button at the top here and find your layer. So you find the layer from the archive and I'm just going to go and grab this one here that we did earlier. And if I check the box to the left, I may now download that file in the formats that we've just described there. So the, the buttons at the top here from KMZ KMZ path profile, shapefile, geotiff, URL, and finally HTML. Now you can do that with multiples by checking multiple boxes. And you can download an area coverage or a path profile. Path profile has KMZ inside it with the Fresnel zone. So you can see the Fresnel zone in 3D and pull up a chart. You can also, for a path profile, download a PNG chart here. So there's a quick hyperlink right here, and that will get you an image that you can download and put into a report which contains not just the profile, but also the metadata that accompanies the profile. KMZ link is to the left there as well.